Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I got the, the camera fixed on the Weber carburetor that's on that F-head that we got in a test stand. Uh, it's time to get this uh, off the test stand and get Joey's engine on. He's ready for startup. Uh, just finished with the Pertronics and his distributor and he's ready for startup. So, uh, I got a lot of questions about the air cleaner setup on the Weber carburetors. Uh, first thing you're going to start with is your gasket. And the one you get with the kit, <clears throat> uh, it comes with the carburetor. It's got a base. You've got an exposed element. And you've got a cover. And you've got these little snap clips here. And there's uh, six of them around there, and that holds together. And that right there is what comes with the kit. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, they work fine. Uh, you could take the, the elements out and uh, and clean them uh, or get, get another one. Uh, but it's kind of chrome looking and I don't know, it just doesn't seem to fit real good. One thing you got to do is plug that hole or, or put it to your air cleaner. Um, it's there for, for other applications, but either plug it or run it somewhere. Um, so that's that. That's, that's what you're going to get when you buy the kit. Um, <clears throat> not a bad setup, uh, easy to do, doesn't cost any extra, and it works fine. Uh, the next thing you can do, try and get some stuff here. The next thing you can do is put this base on there. Now, from this point, you could put any. Uh, round air cleaner uh, anything at all will fit on there that's uh, five and a quarter I think I think it's five and a quarter um, and this is painted black but they come uh, just raw aluminum what I like to do is put that on not use a big round air cleaner but I used a snorkel kit That seals it up nice. That, that's got to be bolted down, but you, you get the point um, when that's bolted down. And your hose, you could take to your air cleaner, and uh, and that'll work out perfectly. Um, that's what I like to do. This kit with the hose and these two components will add probably another couple hundred dollars to your Weber carburetor kit. And that's something I usually keep in stock. I'll, I'll show you one. Um, like I said, I put epoxy primer on this one because I like the black look. But uh, let me go grab another one and I'll show you what it looks like when you actually buy it. Okay, guys, when you buy the kit, uh, the part number, if anybody's interested, the part number of the kit uh, right from Weber is uh, this is kit number nine nine zero one zero dot three five seven that's what they call the snorkel kit but this is what it's going to look like when you get it it's going to be raw aluminum so you get that piece you get that piece and you got to kind of scrunch the hose over that and uh, that's what it looks like when you buy it uh, like I say, it's going to probably add a couple hundred dollars to the cost. Okay, guys, the next thing I get a lot of questions about is the coolant and oil that I use. Uh, this is the oil, nope, this is the coolant that goes into everything I own. Uh, Shell Rotella, ELC means extended life coolant. It's a red color. <clears throat> uh, I buy the concentrate and put my own water in there. Uh, so you can buy it the other way too with water in there. Uh, just depends on the quality of your water, I guess. Uh, so that's what I use for coolant and everything. And oil. You know, we started with the Lucas break in oil. And after that, half hour of runtime or 35 minutes or something like that uh, new oil and filter 
and I always use Wix filters and then I put in Shell Rotella T uh, this is the T4 don't get the synthetic stuff uh, 1540 and that's what is in the engine right now and we got everything dialed in just like we like it on this one so now we start the process of dismantling this guy off the stand and putting Joey's engine on here hooking up a radiator and basically the same thing we did for the F head we're gonna do with Joey's L head and um, I'm gonna make a video for him so I will certainly uh, show you guys here but um, <clears throat> we're just about done with the F head I just wanted to show you guys the uh, air cleaner options you had and uh, like I say go over the oil and the antifreeze that is in this engine and every engine that I do so just a shorty today uh, to answer some questions that I get uh, everybody thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next video